This is a quick guide on using the SPM Flex tape based monitor. So before you use the SPM Flex there's a couple of things that you need to ensure. Firstly in the end here we need to remove the two plugs on the inlet and the outlet and then we need to open the unit up using these catches here and at the bottom of the SPM Flex you will find a switch which we need to turn to on. We replace this, screw it back down and then we are ready to turn the unit on. So to initiate the unit close this up Press and hold the power button. And the unit will begin to power up. Once the SPM Flex is turned on, in this instance, the unit is out of monitor because the cassette inside the SPM Flex has expired. In order to change this, we need to do a couple of things. We need to enter the menu by pressing the tick button and we need to go change cassette. You will hear that on the internal of the unit, the light gate is now opened and the cassette can be removed. We then take a new cassette, which has been in cold storage open it up open the tape remove this we remove this part you can see that this tape is valid until the 15th of November 2023 and must be stored at less than 0 degrees C we now take the tape, put it on, seat it in, and we now close the cover. And now we press the tick button, and it will re read the information from the tape. And this is a diisocyanate tape. And once it's read the information, it will then give you the option to enter the monitoring mode. So once the unit has read the tape, it's recognized that it's diisocyanate. Now we can enter the gas that we want. So if we click into this, we can have TDI, HDI, MDI, HMDI, etc., etc., And you just select the diacyanate that you want this to read against, we will put it against MDI. So MDI diacyanate, we select the alarm point is set to 12 on the first stage alarm and the second stage alarm is disabled. And full scale for this is 150 parts per billion if you want to use the 4 to 20 million amp output. We then go to save and we click to start. It says, would you like to enter monitor mode or stay out of monitor mode? If we enter monitor mode, this means that the unit will start reading diacocyanates. So it will start to draw in sample from here and exhale it from there. So the monitor is now in use. If you wish to take the monitor out of monitoring mode, you press the tick, go to monitor mode and select out of monitor. The unit then stops. If you would like to remove the chem cassette for safe storage, if we go down to maintenance, 
we can open and close the light gate. So that gate is now open. And we can remove the cam cassette. And you can see the tape there. And we could put that back in cold storage if we wished. So I'm going to place that back on. And we are going to now close the gate and reinitiate the unit. So if we go back up to monitor mode, enter monitor mode, and we're good to go again. If we wish to retrieve data from the unit, we press the tick, we scroll down through the menu to review mode, enter it, scroll down to trend plot, enter. Here we can select the date, the time that we want it to start from, the time range that we want to take the data off for. So let's say eight hours worth. Now we can go to see graph or export data. If we wish to export data, we need to open the unit, open this panel here, and you will see that there's a little USB port there which we can put a USB stick into. We put our USB stick into there, we select export data, and it says error uh, exporting concentration data because there was no unit in there at that time. Anyway, if you wish to know more about the SPM Flex and how to use it or to set it up, please contact us on 01904 373 018 or info at environst.com. Many thanks.